We got breaking news at the Capitol. Yeah, we're checking in once again with Fox 61's Lauren Zinzi. She's there at the Capitol where there's a heavy police presence. And we just learned a few minutes ago that someone or several people shot up the Capitol. Lauren, anything new? Tim and Erica, I'm just as shocked as you. We were coming in for Governor Lamont's press conference on the North Steps at 10 o'clock when we came up through the front entrance and saw a heavy police presence. State police are here, Capitol Police, Hartford Police. They had a dog sweeping out on Capitol Avenue, and we immediately started wondering what was going on. Take a look up there. According to Hartford Police, we just learned uh, that we reached out to them, and they told Fox 61 that there were three bullet holes found in the Capitol. As of right now, we can only see two. There's one up in that lantern and one in the front middle window of the Capitol. We know that uh, police have been canvassing the area looking, I, I'm assuming, for bullets. But as of right now, there's not really much being said except that nobody was injured, which is great. And they actually haven't even confirmed if it was this morning, last night, in the middle of the night. But they said that there was also a heavier police presence here because there is, in fact, a legislative session today. So they did already have an enhanced police presence. But this just throws a wrench into the entire mix. Uh, three bullet holes have been confirmed here at the Capitol. We only see two as of right now. But police are heavily armed as of right now. And they they are just uh, protecting the front of the Capitol. So we'll keep you up to date with any new information as it becomes available. But for now, live in Hartford, Lauren Zenzi, Fox 61 News. Lauren, can you just give us a, a better idea of the scope of how many different uh, law enforcement officers and vehicles you see out there? So uh, actually a good amount has already left, but right behind us, there's about four vehicles. There's a state capitol. There's another couple of troopers on that side. Uh, and then on the other side, we have uh, one. There's about four more state troopers on the other side. Um, so there is quite a bit. We know that there was a... Uh, a canine here just a little while ago. They have since left the area. But when we first got here, there was a lot. There was probably about 25 different uh, law enforcement cars. So that it has it has subsided since then. They said nobody was injured. And I don't believe that there's a threat in the area. Um, they wouldn't allow us in the area if that were the case. But as soon as we hear anything new, we'll keep you up to date. Well, Lauren, thanks so much. Yeah, so shocking. Yeah. And, uh don't know how that happened and still trying to figure out when it happened. Right. So. Well, I have to imagine lots of video cameras in the area. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get a good, a good idea. Yeah.